In this video, I want to go over the problem, stop spinning my words on code words. And what I want you to do is to write a function that takes in a string of one or more words and returns the same string, but with all five or more letter words reversed. Now, if we look at an example of exactly what this wants you to do. So here's the function. Here's the string it passes us. Hey, fellow warriors. As you can see, fellow, the length of fellow is greater than five, and the length of warrior is also greater than five. What we do is we return the string. This is what we're going to return. Hey is less than five, so it remains unchanged. However, fellow and warriors are five or of length five or more, so we reverse them. And that's essentially all we do. So the first thing we're going to want to do is currently this is a sentence. Um, when we're iterating throughout our sentence, I want to I want for every iteration of the for loop, I want it to be a word rather than the character of the word because it makes it so much easier to like determine the length of the word. So we're going to use a function called split and I'll explain to you exactly what it does. So sentence is equal to sentence dot split. Okay. So essentially what this split function is going to do is it turns strings into lists. Lists is basically an array for people who have used other languages but are new to Python. So what this is going to do is what goes inside of these parentheses is the delimiter. By default, if you specify nothing, the delimiter will be white space. So if we look down here at a sentence, what this split function is going to do is it's going to take the word stop and it's going to be the very first element of our list. The delimiter being white space will be the end of our first um, element. So the word stop with no white space will be the first element. The reverse of spinning will be the second element, delimiter being white space. The word my will be the third element and so on and so forth. So now instead of a string, we have a list of words, which is going to make our life much easier. Next, what we want to do is we want to iterate throughout this uh, list of words. So we can just say for word and the in range of the length of the sentence, length of sentence. What we're going to do is we're just going to check to see if the current word in question is greater than or equal to the length of five. You see how much easier th this is? Word is literally going to be a word instead of a letter or a character of the word. So we're just going to say if the length of sentence word is greater than or equal to five, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse it. So we'll just say sentence of word is equal to sentence of word. And in Python, there's a really easy way to reverse words with list slicing. You can literally just go there. Sentence is reversed. This is basically setting this is setting the current the current word that we're on to the reverse of the word. That simple. After we're done with this, what we're going to do is we're going to return the um, sentence. However, sentence is a list of words, although all the words in that list that are greater that have the length greater than or equal to five have been reversed. They want us to return a string. So if we test this, it'll be correct, but it's See, welcome should be welcome. Two should be two. There's a very, there's just like there's a method to turn strings into lists, like split, there is a method to turn lists back into strings. So we'll just, I'll type it out and then I'll show you what it does. So dot dot join sentence. What this join method does is, like I said, it turns lists back into strings with whatever we put in here is what is going to be placed between each element of that list. So if we have nothing, it'll just jumble up every element in that list into one long thing I'll show you. So we'll test it. Um, see, hey, Wolof, <laughs> see, this is hey, fellow warriors, uh, reversed, put together. Now if we put a space in between, that should put a space between every single word. So. Five passed, uh, let's attempt it. 
Yeah, all 25 test cases passed. So that is the Stop Spreading My Words problem on Code Wars. I hope that you found this video valuable and you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.